Hello out there in internet land. This is Colin from The Blast Zone, the US Extreme Metal Show. Don't forget that the Pit FM launches June the 27th, 2011. Make sure you tune into The Blast Zone for the planet's best death metal, black metal, and grindcore. Right now, though, I'm here with Paul Ryan, guitarist for Kansas Death Metal as Origin. How's it going, Paul? Great. Thanks very much for coming on the show. Now, you've got a new album out entitled Entity, and that came out on June the 10th. Could you tell us a little bit about how this one came together? Basically, uh... And the last year and a half, we started creating material after touring for Antithesis. Um, uh, basically, there's 12 tracks. If you get the one with the bonus track, of probably the mo- like the, the best representation of what we sound like today. Um, you know, we went through a couple journeys uh, since uh, the last album in 2008 with Antithesis, but uh, it's uh, me. You know, doing guitar and vocals, Mike Flores doing guitar, uh, bass and vocals, and John Longstreth on drums. I feel like it's the best representation of the band yet. Okay, fair enough. So Jeremy wasn't involved on this one? No, it's just the three of us. Jeremy uh, recorded a couple tracks that him and Mike worked on on the last album, but uh, due to previous you know, things with work and everything, he was unable to tour, so we felt like this album would just be the people that were involved that were going to be touring for it. You mentioned that your previous album, Antithesis, was quite rushed in terms of rehearsals. Uh, Were you able to take more time on Entity before you went in to record? Yeah, the last album, you know, we live in different areas. Like, uh, John lives on the East Coast, I live on the West Coast, Mike still lives in Kansas. So, basically, last album we got together and there was only nine days of practice. You know, I sent recordings. They listened to the music and then, you know, figured it all out and then we went in the studio. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little bit cold. Uh, the last one, um, or this one, we spent a lot more time rehearsing. Um, so the material is a little bit more developed. And usually when that happens, the more John plays the song, the better it uh, comes out. And, you know, the more uh, drum structure it has to it because... Uh, ideas come out. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, basically, you know, we learned a couple things. Uh, you know, we started, me and Mike started uh, doing, like, Skype jams and uh, working on material. Um, you know, I would still send the recording to the music and then, uh, you know, to John and Mike, just the just guitar tracks of the basic song. And then me and Mike would jam or teach each other parts or whatever on the songs, and then I made a couple trips out to New York uh, and rehearsed the material, and then we went back to Mike's house in Kansas and spent about another week there, uh, jamming into three-piece, and then we entered the studio, uh, and we tracked, uh, while I was tracking guitar, Mike was in another room writing lyrics and patterns on some of the songs, and then when Mike was tracking the bass lines, I would take the other tracks and write lyrics and vocal patterns and so it was three of us hard at work you know in a small amount of time a lot more time than antithesis and um just happy with the result of it not bad for three guys that don't live in within 1500 miles of each other now you guys have just shifted from relapse onto nuclear blast how have nuclear blast been for you so far well, you know, like, uh, it's the beginning of a relationship. So far, everything's great. I mean, we're happy. They're happy with our album. Uh, you know, we just had a little better budget, so we weren't so pressed on time in the studio. So we got better tone, better performances, better takes. It seemed like uh, they had a lot of belief in us in the beginning. Like, once they found out that we were not signed at the moment, they were interested and... Uh, so far, it's working out great, and the, the advertising campaign by Nuclear Blast seems to be really good. So, you know, the album just came out Tuesday. It seems to be doing well. We'll start tour next Wednesday. So I'm excited, excited to get out there and play these songs live. Hmm, yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen a lot of positive reviews for the album so far, so that's great. Uh, so are there any plans for, like, a video for the new album? Yeah, we're actually uh, we're on tour from July excuse me, June 15th to July 21st. The last day is in Kansas City, and uh, we're going to get sent. We had about six cameras lined up for a video. 
I don't know if it's going to be tracked over the top or if it's going to be a live video. It depends on both of it. But, uh, you know, Homecoming show, Fall Carnage and Exhumed are playing with us on that date. So it should be a good turnout, crazy crowd. So we'll see what happens from there. It's actually going to be Ryan Cadell, who did our first video for our Portal. Great, awesome. I look forward to it. Could you give us a little insight into the artwork for the new album? Yeah, well, that's something we wanted uh, the, the listener to interpret their own ideas and follow along with the lyrics or not. We just wanted a little bit to create your own imagination of what's going on. And to this is very colorful and great. It's just that uh, we were looking for a little less, I don't know, we're a little bit older and Relapse's marketing campaign, we butted heads a little bit about like what sells an album visual-wise and... Uh, you know, we're all in our 30s. We're not 16 anymore. You know, like, I don't know if you ever saw the vinyl franchises. That's what we wanted to be the album cover, but Relapse thought that the um, central face kind of, I don't know, alien monster thingy would sell better products. So, you know, they're labeled, they control the idea. So we just wanted something a little bit that creates a little bit more imagination. Yeah, it certainly presents a bit more of a mature side to, to brutal death metal, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we're not a blood and guts kind of band. We don't talk about religion, per se. You know what I mean? That's not our focus point anyway. So, I mean, I, we just wanted something, uh, you know, <laughs> not that I want, you know, my kindergarten teacher to hear my band or anything, but, you know, if they were to look at it, they would be like, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I understand you've just drafted Jason Kieser or Kaiser? Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser, yeah, as your new frontman. Uh, how how did that come about? Well, basically, um, after James, after we felt James and our and the rest of us fell apart, we tried another guy for 2010, and we were groomed him for the spot. And basically, three weeks before we entered the studio, some personal things happened for him, and he thought it was best that he wasn't in the band and traveled. And so then we kind of rushed in the studio on. And me and Mike performed the vocals, but the idea was always to have a front man, conductor of death, you know, so to say. Um, basically, John, who lives on the East Coast and played with Skinless, um, they never played a show together, but, you know, John was friends with Jason and played in a band called Mucopus. He also played in Skinless. I don't know how much you know about Skinless, but Jason is Joe's brother, the bass player Skinless, so. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh... It just came together like uh, this guy is used to coming in. You know, he's filled in big shoes already with Sherwood. He's got a good voice. He's got a good stage presence. He's professional. We're looking forward to actually going out there and play some live shows. We, uh, we had that third and fourth practices yesterday, and the second time through, we had, like, some former members of Origin there and some friends over and watching this practice, and everyone was really excited about what's to come. Uh, now, as you mentioned earlier, as of June the 15th, you guys are hitting the road right across the states in Canada. Uh, are you looking forward to getting back out there? Oh, absolutely. We haven't played any shows since September 2010. Um, we're just eager to get out there and play some new material because, you know, you know, we've been around since 98, and, you know, it's always nice, you know, because after a while touring, the set becomes kind of, you know, like listening to the same song all the time. You just want to do something new, brings new challenges and new dynamics and finding what songs work live and what doesn't work live. It's, you know, it's part of the fun of it. Going out there and seeing old friends again, you know, we've been doing this a long time and we're very fortunate to be doing as many tours as we've done. Excited about playing some of the new material to the masses. Yeah, that certainly is a hell of a lineup. Um, I mean, I think on the same bill is Hate Eternal.